Hi, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use video progress tracking to trigger workflows. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a scenario. The scenario is we're gonna run a webinar and with that webinar, if a person isn't registered for the webinar, we're gonna then ask them to register. It's a very simple process. So I've set up this webinar page. If I go to the webinar page, you'll see I have it right here with just the title. I'm gonna hit this plus sign and I'm gonna add my video. I've already pre-uploaded a video ready to go. The only way we can do this is by using a hosted video. So I use hosted video. I select the video. I'm gonna use the one that I have that I'm gonna be using as a dummy. And there's a couple settings that I need to make sure that I do. First and foremost, I do not wanna show the progress bar. We don't want people to be able to jump ahead or move around because then our triggers won't work. Then what I wanna make sure that we do is click on the redirect unregistered visitors. And we're gonna ask them to go to the registration page. Now on that registration page, I've added a form and I'm gonna show that to you next. I'm gonna hit save. And for good measure, I'm gonna also hit publish. Now I'm gonna switch over to the registration page. And on that registration page, you can see I've already added my form, but we have to also make sure that after they fill out this form, that we redirect them back to the webinar page. So I'm gonna go over here to the redirect action, and I'm gonna paste in the URL that I want to go to. So I'm gonna click in here, I'm gonna paste, and then I'm gonna hit save, make sure my SEO is okay, save again, and then publish. All right, that's ready to go. So let's try this scenario out and see how well it works. I'm gonna open up an incognito window, and in that incognito window, I'm gonna paste the URL. I'm gonna paste that URL here, and you're gonna see the video load for just a half a second, and then it's gonna to go to the registration page. So I'm gonna put in my dummy information right here, and I'm gonna put in that email address, and click on register. Now, it's immediately gonna bring me to that page. Now, that's only part of the really cool thing that we can do now. Next, we're gonna set off a trigger that's gonna happen after 20 seconds to say that the person has started watching 20 seconds of the video. We're gonna make a tag. So from the left-hand bar, we go to automations, and we're gonna create a new workflow. We would start from scratch, and we'll just call it video tagging workflow. You can call it whatever that you like. All right, and I'm just gonna preemptively save it. All right, that's saved and ready to go. And then add my new trigger. From here, I'm gonna type in the word video and we'll see video tracking right here. From video tracking, I click add filter, choose the funnel that I'll be working on, is any of. I'm gonna scroll down to the one I've been working on. Then I'm gonna add another filter. Video is any of. And I'm gonna use the one I was using as an example. Choose another filter, video duration, equals to 20 seconds. Now, before I do that, I wanna explain a couple little things here. We have the ability to do equals to, greater than, greater than or equal to, is empty, is not empty, so forth and so on. Now, I wanna do the 20 seconds, so I can do it equal to the 20 seconds or greater than 20 seconds. So, either one is just fine in this type of scenario. So, I'm actually gonna use greater than 20 seconds, and I'm gonna save my trigger. From there, I'm gonna add a tag. I'm gonna hit the plus sign here, I'm gonna type in tag, add a contact tag, and I'll just type in 20 seconds. Just so I know this person's watched 20 seconds of the video, I'm gonna click add new tag and save the action. And then just hit save. Now if I go to that contact right over here, you're gonna see that I only have the lead tag because I have that from another automation. It doesn't have that other tag yet. So I'm gonna act as that person. I'm gonna go back to this page. I'm gonna refresh it. I'm already registered, so I know it's good and I'm gonna watch the video. Now that I've watched it for 20 seconds, you're gonna notice that I have the 20 second tag inside there. So that's all it takes to add a trigger to a video inside of Go High Level. If you like this video and you'd like more of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.